So today I'm talking about a Dodge with the P0441 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Dodge P0441 code? Well, it's evaporative emission control system incorrect purge flow. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a problem inside the EVAP system and the onboard computer is picking this up. And what is the EVAP system? Well, the EVAP system is, is for emissions. And what it does is it keeps the gas vapors contained inside of the gas tank and sent back to the engine to get burnt off. And, and when the onboard computer detects a leak inside of the system or anything like this, then it sends out this error code P0441. And so what would be the main fixes? Well, the first thing is going to be the gas cap. Be sure the gas cap is sealed. Be sure there's nothing blocking it from going all the way in and sealing up good inside the vehicle. Make sure there's no debris blocking it or anything like this. Check the seal on the gas cap and be sure it's good because it's going to need a seal in there. And, and if it does look bad, then you could go replace it. If you do replace it, be sure to get an OEM one because these aftermarket ones, third-party aftermarket gas caps, sometimes they don't work so good. But if it looks good, then it could be something else. So it might not be the gas cap, but if it looks tore up or anything like that, then you could replace it. But the number one thing is going to be check the gas cap. And then the next thing is going to be the purge valve. And what the purge valve does, and what the purge valve is, is it's just a simple valve. And it stays closed when the engine's off so the gas vapors don't escape. And then it opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors go, go into the engine and get burnt off. And that's all it does. When it has problems, it gets stuck open or closed, which can cause issues. And it, and it could throw out a P0441 code. And replacing it is fairly simple. Usually they're located on the top of the engine. They'll have like two bolts going into it and a couple of hoses and a, and a harness. So they're, they're usually straightforward to swap out and not too difficult. One thing to keep in mind is be sure this harness is on good because it, because a bad connection or wiring that has open or short can cause the same problem as a bad purge valve. So be sure that connection's good. But the number two thing to take a look at would be the purge valve. And then next up is going to be the charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister is part of the EVAP system. And one of the things that goes wrong with the charcoal canister is that one of these hoses quite often leak or they just fail and they just need to be replaced because they also have seals and things like this, which can cause a leak and it can cause an error code. And one thing to keep in mind with this whole EVAP system is that all these hoses need to have a good connection because if there's any leak inside of them, then it can cause an error code. And so you could check out all the hoses, be sure there's no cracks or anything like this or some place where the hose isn't all the way connected going around to the purge valve and the charcoal canister and all the way back around to the gas tank. And what would happen if you took this to a, a mechanic is that they'd use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the system and then they would see where the smoke came out so they'd be able to find the leak much more easier. And that's a very common method to troubleshoot EVAP system leaks or failed components. But if you don't have one, then you can just go around and try to make sure that there's that the hoses all look connected and that everything looks good. Of course, if there is a really difficult to find leak in the system, you, you might have to take it to a mechanic or get a smoke machine, which is a very common way to troubleshoot an EVAP system problem. So that's basically it. I just wanted to go over some of the main causes and fixes if you had a Dodge with the P0441 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.